It won't be so easy keeping these ghouls at bay. So, for our first haunted adventure, you better pack some courage and get ready to scream. The original Hollywood Horror Show in Snow Camp, North Carolina has been terrifying crowds for 15 years. This is not your generic, boo, let's scare the Cub Scouts haunted house. This is more of a theatrical show. We'll see if the show lives up to Blue Ribbon status. As the South's longest running horror show, it already has one scary reputation. We're from New York, uh, upstate New York, so we came down for the weekend, check it out. This is as real as it can get right here. We heard that it was really, truly scary. He told me it was good, I had to come. I think it's one of the best haunted houses I've ever been to. I'm just here to get scared. First time was scarier than I could have ever thought. Like, I screamed, peed my pants. Um, <laughs> Things coming out of the corner that you didn't see scary. I've never been to a haunted house where I've actually been scared, so I'm kind of excited to see what it's in store for me. Well, there's always a first time for everything. And the masterminds behind this haunted house don't just dabble in horror, it's their life's passion. Halloween was always a big holiday for us. You hide in the bushes and scare the neighbors and the yeah. kids, and anybody who came, we, we terrorized. So that's basically how it started. The Jones brothers turned their childhood pranks into a lucrative career in the film business. The difference between what we do here and what we do in film, we have a lot more time in film. Every year, they leave their Hollywood day jobs and venture back to Snow Camp, North Carolina to share their terrifying talents. Everything you see, the props, the costumes, and the lighting is all done film quality. That's what we do for a living, so you know we have to be very good in that, and so we just bring that into this. It's as if you're walking through a horror film. Every room that you go through has a different feel to it. The crypt room scares a lot of folks, and I don't know, it's kind of hard to say because every room is designed differently, and different things scare different people. If you walk in one room, it might, be, might not bother you, but you might walk into another room and it might see something that bothers you. We, have, we like to have a wide variety of things that are frightening, so uh, people will... <laughs> find something to get their heart pumping. It's what people don't see a lot of times. That's what scares them, it's what they don't see. And if suddenly they see a creature, and it's there and it nose to nose, and suddenly it disappears again, that's even more frightening, because now they don't know where the character went. And another secret to their scary success? We try to make it as close to reality as possible, or reality in film. Everything you see in the show, we've either built or constructed and fabricated from scratch. And some of the things that you will be seeing are some of the things we used in our feature films and some of the horror movies we've done. This is one of our original props for our show. Uh, it's also appeared at the Playboy Mansion, I think. Everything's in stream detail. The brothers are constantly tweaking the blood and gore. For them, the screams are in the details. Some of the cobwebs are real if you look around. I mean, we, we, we don't run them off. We don't, we don't. No, we, we don't kill the spiders. We don't kill the snakes. They're all a part of the show now. Gotta address this with a little blood, I think. And when it comes to makeup, well, let's just say these guys know their stuff. It takes about an hour and a half to get all 35 actors ready. Some of them are prosthetics, some of them are pullovers. So we mix them up depending on the situation and, and uh, who's here for the evening to play the part. Henry plays several different characters in the show. Tonight is a character from Hellraiser. The makeup and costuming these guys do is second to none. Somebody who works that has worked in Hollywood has won an Emmy, and it's just an outlet. It's just an incredible experience to work with all these people and scare people. and. It's just a natural high that you can't come across anywhere. If I walk down the hallway by myself, the element's there, you know, and it's like, I don't know, there's times when I scare myself. It's easy to see why. With their game faces on, the ghouls are ready to rock. Give it lots of energy tonight. It'll be a scream, literally. And let's show them what Halloween's made of. On the count of three, let's do our nightly primal scream. One, two, three. <laughs> Places, everybody. And what is the best compliment a haunted house can get? We have 250-pound guys that come in with their girlfriends, and they're really big and boasting about how nothing's going to frighten them. And the minute they get in there, they have to leave. And the coup de gras? We like it when the people get so scared they wet their pants and tell us about oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if the exit is any measure of their success, I'd say the Jones brothers have run away with a Halloween hit.
I was going in there saying, I'm not going to be scared, it's going to be no problem, whatever. No, I'm freaked out. <laughs> I got the shakes now. I just said hi. It's just like the tension. I'm alive. I made it. So all I got to say is go to the horror and see it, man. You will be scared.